Here's a continuation of Demoff's theorem. I want to do a, an example where we don't start with something in polar form. That's, that's the easy version, even though it looks complicated. We start with an, a complex number. Let's say z equals a plus bi. And let's say it's root 3 over 2 plus 1 half i. Okay? And so that's going to be, let me see if it'll evaluate that whole thing numerically. Okay? So it's about 0.87 plus 0.5i. And so I've located that here. If you look at it, 0 0.67a between the 0 0.8 and 0 0.9, and right on 0 0.5. So remember, the, the real part is how much it goes to the right, just like the x-coordinate. And the imaginary part is how much it goes up. So there's m. And then the task, oh yeah, and I, it, I forgot to relabel it here. Our m here is the z here. Um, it'll be too much of a pain to relabel them all right now. z to the fourth. That's the task here. What is z to the fourth? Now, we could actually just take this and raise it to the fourth power. We could actually just go ahead and take this thing and multiply it by itself four times. Just foil it all out. But, well, that'd be a pain. Let's not do that. <laughs> okay, and when we get to roots, it's even it's even more of a pain to try to do things by hand. It's roots where this thing gets really cool. But for this kind of thing, it's, it's, it's pretty important to be able to do this polar form. So what we're going to do is a, a three-stage process. We're going to convert it to polar first before we do the power. Then we're going to do the power, which is going to be really easy, and then we're going to convert it back. It's a very common thing in mathematics. Convert, do something in an easier form, and then convert back. So we're not going to try to do z to the fourth first. First, we're going to just say, what is z? OK. So well, it's supposed to be r cis theta. So we've got to figure out the polar r and the polar theta. So r, that's just the magnitude of z. And we know how to do that. It's a squared plus b squared. Ooh, not to e to the a, though. a squared plus b squared. And this may look like I chose this to be really perversely weird, although you should be able to recognize these, uh, these numbers. In fact, it's not going to be weird at all. So it's going to be a squared is 3 fourths, and 1 half squared is 1 fourth. Aha! As indicated on the picture here, notice, ah, looks like the polar form is specifically chosen here so that the magnitude is 1. That's wonderful. So in fact, it's just going to be cis theta. It's going to be one of these things that's on the unit circle. OK. Now what about theta? Well, that's a little trickier. Um, in general, you'd have to do something like tan theta equals b over a. And so that's going to be 1 over root 3. In this case, you should look at it and say, gosh, these numbers are starting to look very familiar. This is a point on the unit circle. What is the point on the unit circle at root 3 over 2, 1 half? Oh, yeah, that's the one over here. It's a 30, 45, or, or, or 60. It's the one where the x is big and the y is small. And so wh however you do it, you're going to get that theta is 30 degrees. Or if we like radians, and here we're sure radians is kind of equally preferred. It's 5 or 6. OK. So now we're ready to write z. z is just 1 for the magnitude times cis of 5 or 6. I'll use radians. It's, it's fancier. Or in other words, remember, that's just an abbreviation for it. It's cosine pi over 6 plus i sine pi over 6. OK. So that's z. Now z fourth is really easy. It's 1 to the fourth. Let me just put that 1 in actually explicitly. It's kind of silly, but it's 1 to the fourth, which is still 1, times cosine of 4 pi over 6 plus i sine 4 pi over 6. So that's the part where we get the payoff for this work of doing the polar form. It's just 1 times, and I'll abbreviate the cis again, cis 2 pi over 3. So that confirms what this picture shows, is that this angle quadruples. The magnitude happens not to change because it was already 1, and we're over here at the 120 degree position. That's what this arg is saying. This angle here is 120, or 2 pi over 3. OK. And now it's easy, because now we actually really do want to convert back. It was given to us in a plus bi form. We want it back in a plus bi form, so we just go ahead and calculate that. Cosine of 2 pi over 3, sine of 2 pi over 3 and all times 1. And so we're going to get minus 1 half, that's the cosine, plus root 3 over 2 times i. And there is our answer for z to the fourth. So seems like a lot of work, but compare it to actually foiling this out, it's, it, you'll see that it's actually easier. So there's our z to the fourth answer back in a plus bi form.